also provide an excellent ambience and infrastructure for our students. We also emphasize on group discussions, mock interviews, and formal presentations. I would now like to invite Ms. Deborah Johnson to make a formal presentation on the topics of grooming. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm pursuing a diploma in office management, and the topic for my today's presentation is grooming standards. Now, let us see what is grooming. Personal grooming is important for a positive self-image as it and every effort should be made to encourage and assist the resident to maintain a pleasing and attractive appearance. Good morning, Mom. Very good morning. Please be seated. Thank you, Mom. Please show me a folder. Alright, person, why should we hire you? Uh, Ma'am, as I am a self-motivated person, I have a fresh mind to work in any environment I indulge in. I need a platform to improve my knowledge and skills. I assure you that, if given a chance, I will prove an asset to your organization. What motivates you to do a good job? Okay. There are many things that motivate me. The first factor is the expectations of my family members and my teacher. They are really proud of me, so I would like to work hard and achieve the targets. Secondly, I am sure that you are a highly reputed multinational company and you will provide me an excellent pay package and opportunity to learn more. What is the difference between confidence and overconfidence? According to me, confidence means trusting on your capabilities. A capable person is humble and polite, whereas overconfident means arrogance and rude behavior. The person, he or she believes that he is the best around of all. Alright, person, that will be all. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Mark. were of great use that I was on training. How professional today I am is all because of YMC. How do you feel about working in night shifts and on weekends? Now, actually working at nights and weekends is difficult but for me both my career and my family are equally important to me and I, I will assure that I will complete the assigned work on time but if sometime company requires my presence, I will be ready to work at nights and weekends. And I believe a reputed organization like yours will provide me with cap if it's necessary to work at nights and weekends. Alright. What have you learned from your failures? Mom, I have learned from my failures to analyze myself and to find out my shortcomings. Those shortcoming areas are the improvement areas for the future. And what else I have learned is that never to give up, never to feel rejected and try and try a thing until you get success. Thank you ma'am, have a nice day. Thank you. At YMCA, we make our students capable of building their own future. We drill the overall personality of our students, we skill them technically, give them industrial exposure and teach them how to manage time and resources to become spearheads of office management. At YMCA, we not only impart theoretical knowledge to the students, but also we give them a practical training to develop their computer skills and software skills 
so that they can exhibit a multifaceted personality. Good morning, all of you. Here we are having students of YMCA who are going to perform a group discussion on the topic corruption. I am Shruti. I am pursuing postgraduate diploma in office management. I am Sigi Gupta, pursuing diploma in office management. I am Liba Luka, I am pursuing postgraduate diploma in office management. I am Nira Rizvi and I am doing diploma in office management. I am Ashwarya, pursuing postgraduate diploma in office management. I am Sunil Bhikar, pursuing diploma in office management. Now Liba, this is how it begins. Corruption can occur at different levels. Firstly, petty corruption. It is a corruption that occurs at smaller levels. Secondly, Grand corruption. It is a corruption that occurs at highest level of government. And thirdly, systematic corruption. It is corruption which is primarily due to the weaknesses of an organization. Do you know, India is 94th out of 176 countries in corruption. Corruption in India is such a major issue that is adversely affecting its economy. Almost 62% of Indians have had faced at least one experience of paying bribe. I would say that corruption is everywhere. From a school admission, to a higher education, from colleges to jobs, and from di driving license to voter ID card. So Hera, you also agreed with it that 62% of Indians have had an experience of paying bribe. According to me, almost each and every person has paid bribe to get their things done. We have heard our elders saying, never keep a rotten apple in a basket of good ones. It will spoil the whole lot. So just think once, what is the use of keeping a good one in a basket of rotten buns? As my friend Shruti has now started off this conversation, I would like to support her by saying that that corruption is actually a western concept which says that it is a positive process rather than a negative one because over there it's a gifting concept which says that it is a favour for the thing which is done in return. Now I would like Liba to conclude this today's discussion on corruption. Liba. As we have reached to the concluding point, I would like to say that the root cause of corruption is the man's desire itself. From the time a child goes to sleep only when his father offers him a chocolate or when we pray to God offering some gifts in return, it's like bribing the God itself. So. From the time when Hera had started off this topic, I would like to say that in India, especially Indians only have certain time with them. So to get their things done, they always look for some jugadu ways. Thank you.